my primary place of work will be Buckingham Palace, which is quite exciting. <laughs> Hiya, my name is Jamal Ahmed, I'm 24, uh, born and raised in East London and I've joined the learning people to get a career in cyber security. I've uh, currently got my A plus certificate and I'm studying for my security plus exam also. Before moving on to learning people, I was uh, studying graphic and digital design at university. After I got my degree, I was looking around for graphic design careers and I felt like the market was very saturated at the time. That sort of led me to think about having a career change. I wanted to get into sort of an IT-based role. Prior to that, I never had any experience uh, regarding IT and a lot of the careers that I wanted to step my foot into, they required due to you know, have a degree in computer science or an IT-based role or something like that. That is when I did find uh, the learning people and I found that they were there to help me gain essential certificates and sort of help me progress into the role of cybersecurity. It was uh, a field that I really had no experience in. It was more so that it was a passion of mine, but I really didn't have anything to back up my facts with. All I needed was to have some sort of certification and to prove that you know, I am a suitable candidate for this role to get into this sort of field. When I did start studying for my um, first exam, it was all content that was quite new to me. There were a lot of things that I didn't really understand, but um, the learning, learning people literally lay it out all in front of you, and they were there to help me from literally the very beginning of it till the very end. Once I did get my certificate, the careers team was there to help me as well to first get my foot into the IT industry. And even once you do have the job role, they're still there to help you understand what to do when you start work, what plan should you have for the first six months even. The learning people aren't just there to sort of, you know, give you a place to learn and sit exams. They're there to help you from the beginning. How can we help you find a career that's suitable for you, not just one that you're not really that fond of it. Their main concern is you and you should always feel confident that they will provide the help that you need. There is a lot of studying to do, there is a lot of revision to do, but it is very different to formal education. It's a lot more flexible. No matter what other commitments you have in your life, you can always manage to put a few hours in towards the studying. You can speak with the learning people and they will literally help you figure out a timetable that works around your schedule so that you don't feel like you have to sacrifice anything. I got my A plus uh, certificate by completing both of my exams. From there, I spoke with the careers team. I followed their advice. I applied to as many places as I could. And eventually, I was thankful to you know, wake up one morning and I saw that I've got an email from uh, the Royal Household that offered me a job as a service desk analyst. I believe that the way that I presented myself, the way that the careers team sort of helped me with interview prep to polish up my CV, make my LinkedIn profile look good, helping me get my A-plus certificate. All of these things combined, I felt like those were the key things that really made me stand out as a candidate. My primary place of work will be Buckingham Palace, which is quite exciting. <laughs> I, could, I didn't believe it at first. I literally had to click on the link and everything to make sure you know, this was exactly what I'm getting into. The learning people have helped me from the very beginning and, you know, they're still helping me now. There is no better time now than just to study for the Security Plus exam. And hopefully once I do have that certificate, hopefully be able to progress into a more security-based role. And then once that is done, I hope to get my Cybersecurity Analyst Plus uh, certificate to really step my foot into a Cybersecurity Analyst role. Nothing is impossible if you really do just put your mind to it and you really have the drive and the passion for what you want to do. Everything that you want to achieve, you can achieve.